welcome back in this video we are going to see what is records management um, click on file plan so again it's uh, uh, about the planning of files and like what is the file plan how long to retain that and all that if you go see this the policy and if you remember that policy was applied uh, office 365 wide site wide uh, doesn't matter that it's a an e email file folder a site anything so that's why it's showing up here because it also is applied to files and that's why it's here so if i go check the pot this is under the labels if i go check the policies you remember we created a uns us financial policy as well again that was applied to files as well that if any file has a banking record or you know bank information in them uh, bank account numbers routing number etc then because of that reason this policy uh it's a uh, here in file planning as well so this just option publish label or auto apply label and refresh so there is nothing that you can create actually it's just that shows you file planning but in events what are the events if you look at the events events is like anything that is predefined that if this event happen it should be logged or you have to create it and then you create a label and that gets applied uh, they have given imply uh, they have given an example for example a, a user leaves the organization so employment ended event you can create that so let's try to create an event name and events test event we can click next use event type so if I click here this is to retain and it will take the labels that you have already created for and again they have given the um, example of employment enter uh, after you identify that item related to this event so it's again that you want to how long to retain it use event type use choose an event type and event type no event types found so we can a can we search it normally search function is already in here so we haven't added anything yet so use existing labels we can choose a label and by going add we can create a tag but I'm gonna go with the default then <clears throat> let's exit out of here there's nothing so use event type able to choose one event type that's going to serve this label next choose an event type so we don't have an event right now <clears throat> we can add anything nope so name the event we have So in event has to happen and then you can add it. So review your setting was there. I think this again has to do something with the licensing that this being the uh, Office 365 business premium that's why I don't have the <coughs> um, necessary rights and that's why it's giving us the error that we cannot create it so I could test event create use event type existing label and if I choose a label there is none create new tags we can create a different tag so you can name your label test label and we created the label it's not showing up here can we go next yes label setting retention next we create this label <coughs> so we can add it <coughs> done and event setting now we can I can go farther what are the sets I related to this event 
enter word or phrase we can write as land or asset id sharepoint yammer we know there's a yammer file in there what when did this event occurred so basically you are keeping a note of what happened it's already has happened so and create this event you will get the review setting client error again that is because I don't have the uh, office uh, business it's the premium that is a lower tier that's why it's giving me some uh, pushback but that's how you create events so this is something that you have to create for record keeping or all that so for that reason <coughs> uh, it's not created automatically you do that and you see it says record management and you are basically managing that record you're creating that record it's real simple if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one that is information governance